Hello, Mary Me. So I want to review a tarot deck. And the deck I want to review today is Mother is Tarot. Now, the thing that's out of the ordinary about this deck is that it's round. The cards are round. The deck is by Karen Vogel and Vicky Noble. And yeah, for example, here's an example of the of a card. It, this is the shape it has. So this edition, I think it's several editions of it, but the one I got at least go from in this box. And I have to say, it is a nightmare to get this box open. I opened it a few times, so now it's nice weather, but it, when you first start opening it, it's a nightmare to get it open without damaging it. Inside is this second cardboard box. Keep your deck nice and safe in. And again, they do try to make it as hard as possible for you to get to your cards. But, after a few times of opening it, it yields. Oh, come on. Out you go, little card face. So, like usual, let's start with the little white book. This is little white book. And it starts with a little article of about tarot and meditation. Which is okay, it's pretty basic. Then it speaks about the major arcana, uh, and then it has the ma um, major arcana meanings. It's you don't get much here. You get a small paragraph for each card. And let's see. Let me let me just show you the. Then you have a small section on the minor arcana. I do like that. That they explain what the major and minor arcana is and so on. They'll get a point. For that, well done. Then you have the minor and corner ones, which just have a sentence each. That's not good enough. And that. Then you have a little section on numerology, and then we have a layout of tarot spread for the mother face tarot, and I like that. I do like it when these little white books. Uh, have a reason for their existence in that they give me spreads I can't find anywhere else. I like that. So, let's look at the cards. Right off the bat, let me just tell you, shuffling these babies is a nightmare. If you ever had problems shuffling tarot cards, yeah. Well, here you get one thing that just tells me about those ones that have created them. Isn't it always fun when you accidentally shuffle these commercial and informational cards into the deck while reading and it pops up in the reading? Then we have what's this? Traditional Shard of the Star Goddess. It's a prayer. Useful enough. And here we have some of the cards. I'm not going to show you all of them because then we would be here until tomorrow because this is a traditional tarot deck, meaning there are uh, 78 cards. But yes, we have the two. We have the magician. And if, as you can see, here we have the high priestess. It has a very ethnic feel to it. It is slightly based on Rider White, and by slightly I mean it has some of the same ideas, but it does go its own ways. The symbolism is nice, uh, it do have a very earthy and feminine feel to it. So um, definitely if you are into um, working with goddess energies and such, this could be a very good tarot deck for you. Uh, I do not like a lot of the art because 
I mean, you can have it being ethnic and having that rough feel to it without it looking like it was drawn by a five-year-old. Because you know, this doesn't look like it's ethnic and old. This looked like your very talented niece Sophie made it with her crayons. So yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag there. The symbolism is good. I do like the feel of it, which makes it feel very earthy, very raw. But the drawings themselves? No. Uh, I do like the Wheel of Fortune though, but that's sort of cool. So, uh, as for the card, the cardstock is terrible. I mean terrible. It is flimsy. It's like laminated paper. This is not good enough, people. Not good enough. This is the back of the cards. I sort of like it. It fits with uh, 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 with a very earthy, goddessy feel to it. So, let's find some... Um, now I've shown you some Major Arcana cards, let me find some Minor Arcana cards and we can have a look at those as well. Here's some ones for you. So is this a deck you should be getting? Well, if you're into Goddess, working with Goddesses and the Earth Goddess kind energy uh, and feminine uh, spirituality, you might want to look into this. Uh, Otherwise, I feel that it's pretty gimmicky, and artwork doesn't have a good enough quality. And while the symbolism is pretty good, and I mean that's the most important thing, there are just better tarot decks out there, and let me tell you, shuffling with this is not fun. Let me observe me making a fool of myself. I want to bring this deck to um, one of those uh, Magic the Gathering competitions where you see people that they shuffle like crazy. Now tell them, if you can um, shuffle this like that, I'll give you an ice cream. And I'll watch all the paper cuts and crying and screaming that uh, will ensue. That would be fun. Because I'm odd that way. But, yes, like I said, you can shuffle it. Some people have asked me, can you shuffle this deck? Yeah, yeah, sure you can. You, you get used to it. But since the cards are so thin and flimsy, you have to be very, very careful. At the same time, it just bugs it a little bit too big. If you have small hands, you'll have a problem. And since they are so thin and flimsy, the problem is they're sharp. This... I hope you like your tarot cards with blood on them, because you will have that soon. So, I've heard so much talk about this deck, and I'm a bit underwhelmed, to be honest. I think that for the most part this is gonna sit in my tarot collection as an oddity, because while it has a good idea, and I like the goddess energy feel of it and the symbolism is great it doesn't really add a lot that it's round it just makes it more difficult to handle the cardstock is horrible i mean it could have added something that it's round but it's i think that if they what i should have done is that i should have then made the signs that were also round So yeah, it is a traditional tarot deck. Some people have asked, is it a oracle deck or a tarot deck? It is a tarot deck. It has the traditional 78 cards, a minor arcana, a major arcana, all of that. It is rather whitish. Uh, the symbolism is great, but too flimsy. And the artwork is ugly, to be quite honest. I mean, you can do it rustic without making it ugly. So yeah, would I recommend this? It depends, like I said, 
if you're very much into goddess energy and working with the earth goddess, this might be the deck for you. If what I've shown you today really makes you think, oh, I really want that deck, then it's the deck for you. I mean, it's not bad. But would I recommend that if you're just a regular tarot reader wanting something new, to go out of your way to get this deck? No. I'll give it... 6 out of 10. It's okay, but it's not more than okay. And... Let me see if I can get it back in this little box. Where it belongs. I keep my uh, tarot decks in the box. Uh, I know a lot of people that buy um, and make it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Like I said, it wants to be the back. And um, that uh, make and buy um, bags for the tarot cards, and I'm sure that's great. Uh, I like to keep things in uh, the original packaging, as long as the original packaging holds. I have a few of my favorite bags, where the packaging is sort of falling apart. I have to get bags for those soon. But yeah, other than that, I prefer to keep it in the bag. I don't think that one should go there. Let me just move it. And yeah, I'm just bubbling now, aren't I? I probably are. Time to end this video. That is my review of Motherpiece Round Tarot Deck by Karen Vogel and Vicky Noble. Their names rhyme. 6 out of 10, okay deck, but more novelty than uh, useful. Have a great day, and blessed be.